Okay guys, so welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So as you can see, I am sitting on my floor in my apartment and I am filming a video that I feel is very long overdue. It is a super exciting life update, honest Q&A, kind of answering questions that I've been avoiding. I really want this to be a super real raw video, so I don't want to edit it too much. I just want to kind of share all the information that I've been getting asked questions about. So I'm really excited to make this video because I have a lot of really exciting stuff that I'm sharing with you guys um, in this. And I also wanted to say that I am partnering with Blinkist on this video. So the problem that Blinkist aims to solve is the fact that in all honesty, today we are busy and people just simply don't have as much time to read books and develop themselves. So Blinkist is the only app that takes thousands of nonfiction books and condenses them into 15 minutes or less that you can read or listen to. So I think this is really cool because it's basically taking all of the important stuff and you can absorb that in a much quicker time. So for me right now, some books that I am reading are Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, The 5am Club, and Creativity Inc. These are all books that I feel like are going to help me, especially Especially as I'm moving into this next chapter of my life which you guys are going to hear a lot about in this video so I have a really cool deal for you guys for the first 100 people who click the link in my description box you will get unlimited access for one week to try it out you can read as many books as you want and if you do decide to get a membership you'll get it for 25% off so I highly recommend clicking the link in the description box to check it out you can cancel it at any time thank you so much to Blinkist for working with me on this video and now we're gonna get into the juicy questions so I'm going to start with my most frequently asked question, which is where are you moving? What are your plans? What are you doing after this semester of college? And all of that stuff. I got so many questions in that area and I feel like this is probably the number one thing that people are just like, what is she doing in her life? And so as many of you guys probably were able to guess, um, in January I will be moving to Germany and I am going to be doing an internship there for pretty much half a year and I told you guys kind of the process of you know getting my German visa, getting my um, documents together for that, signing my contracts, all of that stuff. Um, I just didn't say exactly where. I'm not going to say the company on my channel until I know if it's okay or not to say the company that I'm working at and I just haven't had the chance to ask. But I am going to be working in a marketing department, doing a marketing internship. I'm going to be doing social media. I'm going to be doing presentations, videos, brochures, as far as I know. It's just a sort of marketing communications internship, and I'm so, so excited about it. It's at a really big corporation, um, which I've never had the experience of working at like a super corporate environment. So this will be like kind of zero to 100 for me because it's gonna be really intense, I think, but I'm so excited. So that being said, I feel like it is very crucial for me to kind of explain the last year, not only for um, my current viewers, but also for new viewers who stumble across my channel and kind of are like, why is she in Germany? What is she doing with her life? I'm very confused with her vlogs over the past years. So I just wanna do a very, very like 30 second recap of the past year of my life because I feel like that's when a lot of my plans started changing. So in fall of my junior year, I studied abroad in Barcelona, Spain. It was the best three months of my life. And for the first time I had this thought of what if I lived outside of the United States? I think I would really love this because I am just the type of person that I love being surrounded by a different culture. I love challenging myself to try and learn a new language and just to travel more and stuff like that. And of course you can do that in the United States. I'm not saying that you can't. I just really fell in love with a lot of the cities in Europe and I had never had this I could see myself living here feeling before until I um, did my semester abroad. And I also met my boyfriend there who is German and I feel like that's also a significant part of the story. So I met him and then the semester ended I went back to Alabama for my junior year spring and then I had the summer in Germany so basically the original plan for that was for me to do an internship I actually got two internship offers one in Berlin and one in Munich and my boyfriend was studying in Cologne at the time in my head I was like I have two internships in Germany that's really close by to him because it's his country but Germany's a big country. I decided that for a lot of reasons, one, because I wanted to be closer to him, two, I wanted to try out YouTube full time that summer, and three, I was pretty much not in the greatest place mentally um, prior to that summer, and I thought it would be good for me to just have that summer as a break. And it was really, really great, and I had the best summer in Cologne. And then I started my senior year fall semester, which is what I'm in currently. My boyfriend came and visited me for about a month. My tentative plans for, I guess, the next 
two months. I'm gonna finish my classes in December and then I'm going on a trip with the company called EF Ultimate Break. This is like my dream, dream, dream company to work with you guys. I wrote it on a list at the beginning of the year that I wanted to work with them and so the fact that I'm going on a trip with them is literally a dream come true and I am so, so excited. So I'm going to go to Italy on a trip with them um, pretty much from right after Christmas until um, a little bit after the new year. This is kind of where it gets a little bit confusing, so I just want to explain this really clearly. I'm going to Barcelona for two weeks because I am getting my very last class um, credits done um, in a study abroad program for just the January term, which is only two weeks. So the reason I decided to do that is because one, I have a whole semester of my scholarship left. So I go to the University of Alabama, I'm a marketing major, and when I came into college, I got a full tuition scholarship. So I don't pay any tuition to go here. I get a scholarship for that, but I don't obviously see that money. It's just basically like, I don't have to pay that money. But when you study abroad, depending on how many credits you take, you can receive up to the full amount of one semester of tuition at Alabama, which is roughly $15,000. You guys can probably find this online, so that's why I'm just telling you it here. I considered doing a whole semester abroad and using all of that money to fund another trip abroad but I ultimately decided I wanted work experience I wanted to take advantage of the opportunity in Germany so I went with that but I still wanted to use a little bit of that money if I could so I found this program in Barcelona which is the same program I did in the fall but just a shortened version and it worked out perfectly with the dates it's completely covered pretty much by my scholarship i'm not getting the full fifteen thousand dollars i'm getting a fourth of that because my program is only three credits basically i just wanted to go because if my school scholarship can somehow get my last credit um, of my bachelor's degree and also have a fun free trip to barcelona i want to do that then pretty much right after that ends i'm flying to germany and i start my internship the following monday so that is my plan I feel like I'm just like word vomiting it all out because I know I haven't talked that much about it. So the next topic that I'm going to be answering questions on is my relationship. This is a huge one. I think like probably 50% or more of my questions are about my long distance relationship with my boyfriend. How did we meet? Is he ever gonna be in a video to meet you guys? All of that stuff. So I want to make a video at some point with him where we talk about our whole story because I absolutely love our story and um, I think in the future that will happen. But right now I just wanna give you guys the gist. So we did meet in Barcelona. We had the same Spanish class together. We went to a cafe after class and we would just talk and get to know each other and one day we decided to go to La Boqueria Market on La Rambla and get smoothies there and we ended up hanging out for like six hours. We walked all over the Gothic Quarter in Barceloneta Beach and we had dinner and it was just like crazy to me that I was talking to this person for six hours and we never ran out of things to say and truth be told we have not run out of things to say since then. We have somehow made it work over the past year we have been kind of splitting our time and trying to visit each other as much as possible and obviously next january marks a time where i'm going to be um there for a more significant period of time that we can really spend together so that's a little background on my relationship uh, i get a lot of questions about why he hasn't been in the vlogs so i think that from someone who's not all over social media like myself um it can be really intimidating to you know be put out there for people to make comments and assumptions because I think he has seen the way that people sometimes will make assumptions about my life or even about him and he's not even been in the videos yet. I think that's just normal that people are going to make assumptions when you're on the internet. So in the past I've just not wanted to throw the camera in his face until I feel like he's comfortable and wants to be on it. So I have a really fun video idea plans that I really want to do um, in January when we're together. I think y'all are going to really like it, especially if you guys are German because it's going to be a German speaking themed video um, because I know people have been asking me to speak German for some time and I think it's going to be really fun. So comment down below if you can guess what the video is because it's kind of a trend I guess on YouTube. A lot of the questions I've been getting asked are my opinion on long distance, how do I do long distance. So addressing all of my long distance questions, long distance is hard, I'm not gonna lie. It is really, really tough because the person that you want to hang out with on a daily basis and see and go on dates with and talk to, obviously you can still talk over the phone, but I personally love you know, being with someone and being able to hold their hand and walk down the street with them and stuff like that. Kind of advice that I have and things that we're doing to make it work are just 
FaceTiming um, every day. I know that that's not possible for everybody. We try to FaceTime at least once a day and right now based on our time change we're kind of able to talk twice a day which is nice. We don't really text throughout the whole day just because of the time change. We're not awake usually at the same time um, but I kind of think that's nice because we can both kind of go throughout our day, do our thing, take pictures and then when we're calling we can share everything that we've been up to. I think it's hard but it's also been a lot easier than I would have thought it was going to be because the times that we're together so hugely outweigh like the times we're apart so we make the distance work and I am just really excited to be in the same city as him very soon so the next kind of topic that I'm going to answer the questions about is my faith I got some questions on is faith still a part of my life um, am I still involved at church all of that stuff for those of you who don't know I am a Christian and I want to be upfront with the fact that I haven't been in the best place with my relationship with God lately and it's been something that I think started in January of this year because while I was in Barcelona I felt pretty connected to my faith. I went to the church in Barcelona and ever since I came back I was in a really negative headspace. I was going through the whole reverse culture shock thing. On top of that I was starting this whole long distance relationship that I um, wasn't sure what the future would be like for it so that was really scary and on top of that I was really struggling with my mental health. I was just kind of not happy in this new environment and I was struggling a lot with the change and during that time I did pray. I tried to go to church but I wanted a quick fix and it just wasn't happening um, and ultimately I got through that time and it was in part due to my faith I think because my turning point was right around the time that I watched um, this church message which I'll link below it's called peace in my pocket but after that I didn't you know go to church and read my Bible or do my devotionals and I just didn't feel as connected and I think a lot of that was just because I was kind of confused why I had to go through that time in my life and I think it made me feel like what did I do wrong like is God punishing me something like that and ultimately I think that what I was supposed to realize from this whole process is just that I have to lean on God because I'm not gonna get through everything by myself this is just me being honest about where I'm at right now I really would like to start going to church a lot especially like in the city that I'm in there's an international church and I would really like to go I do feel like my life is infinitely better when I feel very close to Christ I feel like as a Christian it's sometimes difficult to talk about the moments when you're struggling with your faith rather than when I'm you know on my mountaintop if you guys have any advice I would really appreciate it down below but hopefully that answers that question so the next question I really want to start making more videos about on my channel and it is my budgeting strategy So this is the first year in my life that I really was like I want to take this YouTube business like seriously So I really want to be upfront with the fact that my budgeting strategy right now has a level of privilege to it And I feel like it would be wrong of me to start talking about how I save and all that stuff if I didn't acknowledge a few things So I feel very lucky that I'm going to graduate without student loans because of a couple reasons one i got my scholarship for alabama and also because in the past years my parents have covered the costs of my room and board which i am so so grateful for so that being said my budgeting strategy the past years has just been to put a lot of money into savings and to just pay for my own food and any other random expenses or costs that i have while i'm in college so that has been my budgeting strategy thus far but that's going to change a lot as i start this next chapter of my life so pretty much in january i'm going to become financially independent which is a really big step for me i'm going to be covering my rent my food my transportation on the deutsche bahn i'm going to be paying for my health insurance and my phone bill because i have to get a new sim card in europe and i'm pretty much i think going to be taken off my parents plan because i'm going to be probably in Europe more time next year than America which is kind of crazy but it is really exciting so that is kind of my plans there and I would love to start making more like financial budgeting videos I really like the whole what I spend in a week trend because I think it's a really cool way to document your expenses throughout the week so let me know if you guys would like me to film one of those because I really enjoy watching them I also love the millennial money and the like what a this career earns with this salary in the city like I think those types of videos are really cool if you guys know what I'm talking about so the next question is related to grad school and all of that stuff so I wanted to talk about this here because I feel like it's a little bit separate from the internship because I end my internship at the end of June and then I would probably start grad school in September so it's a very like 
close timeline i'll have like two months probably that i'll be at home in america and then i'll probably start my grad school somewhere else the reason that i'm opting to apply to grad school is because i felt that the idea of still being a student for a few more years was just super appealing to me because I don't necessarily feel like I'm ready to take the plunge into working full time. I think that this internship is going to be a great kind of dipping my toe in the water sort of experience where I can see how it is. So basically for my master's, I'm looking at around a two year master's program in marketing and I'm basically looking at three schools at this point. I'm looking at Copenhagen Business School, which is in Denmark. I'm looking at Asade, which is in Barcelona, Spain, and I'm looking at the University of Cologne, which is in Germany. So those are the main schools that I'm looking at and I would really be happy to go to any of them. Another thing that I would like to do with my master's is something that's called the SEMS program. So basically this is a program that exists pretty much worldwide and there's different partner universities all over the world. So how it works is every country has one partner university. So the US has one, Germany has one, Australia has one, Japan has one, etc. So basically how it works is you go to a school that is a partner university of the SEMS program and you get the degree from the school. But if you're doing the SEMS program, you also get the SEMS degree. So it's basically a double degree situation and you get to spend one semester abroad at another partner university so it's a really cool program I would like to do it it's super competitive so I don't know if I'll get accepted to it but I am gonna try I just took the GMAT I got a 660 as I shared in a previous vlog um, well actually I didn't say it in the vlog but I said it in the comments my goal was the 600 to a 650 it would have been great to get a 700 but I am pretty satisfied with the 660 just because I didn't think that I was doing well on that at all. So I am going to be submitting my applications um, pretty much everything by January. I think for Germany it's a little bit later like March or something like that but I should hear back for the other two schools and know if I'm going to one of them by like February which is super crazy because that's like really soon. I got a few questions about this. Um, where people were just asking if I will live abroad slash live in Europe for most of my life. And I always think about this. I honestly feel like I can say that whether I was in a relationship or not, I do think I would live abroad at least for the next years of my life. Obviously, I'm from the United States. I think that there are so many opportunities here and it's great. I'm not trying to like put shade on my country by any means. I really do enjoy just the different cultures that exist all over the world. I'm not just saying in Europe. I really think I could live in Asia or Australia for some time. I just really enjoy traveling and I know that that's not something that everybody enjoys. I saw this quote like years ago. It was something about how everyone's definition of happiness is different. For some people, it's doing a career that they absolutely love every single day. For some people, it's about being in a specific location. For some people, it's about constantly being around change and you know adapting to new situations. For some people, they just wanna travel and go on vacations or some people wanna have a really relaxed life and some people wanna have a really busy go 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 life and so i think that i'm just gonna sit here and tell you guys you know this is something that brings me happiness i completely understand if it's not something that another person would think is an appealing you know lifestyle choice i know a lot of comments are speculating like are you moving because of your boyfriend is that why you're going to germany and all that stuff and to that i say of course my relationship has an influence on where i'm gonna be i honestly can say that i wouldn't be in germany if i didn't meet my boyfriend because i would have never probably even gone to germany because it was not really on my travel plans i did have a plan to go to munich for oktoberfest and then i got sick so had i not met my boyfriend i probably wouldn't even know about germany at all but now that i am dating my boyfriend i love germany i love the culture i love the people i love the language i love the food i cannot say enough great things about germany at this point in my life but that being said of course there is an influence um of my relationship on that and i'm not trying to act like oh that has absolutely nothing to do with it so i just wanted to put this in here because um yeah i don't think i've ever just said this all of these things are just bringing me so much happiness right now and i feel like from the outside perspective it can kind of seem like what is she doing like all this change but I am really happy with it and I feel like I'm growing a lot as a person and I hope you guys kind of understand where I'm coming from with that. So with that, 
this video I've been recording for like an hour, you guys. So please let me know what I cut this video down to because right now I'm like literally crying for myself editing later. But I hope this video helped you guys get to know me a little bit more and I'm really excited for this next chapter of my life um, in Germany. I think it's gonna be really, really fun and I'm so excited to share more about that with you guys and hopefully share my boyfriend with you guys really soon because I know right now he must seem like this mystery guy that only showed his like shoes or his shoulder in a video before so anyway I hope you guys like this video and thank you again to Blinkist for working with me on this one I am literally about to edit this video and cry so I will talk to you guys later and I hope you have a great day bye